welcome back to the channel everybody and uh, today we are doing a brisket again another experiment and this one is to wrap or not to wrap so like last night I quickly trimmed this just to save some time today so it's all nicely trimmed uh, the way I like it it's not a huge brisket but that's okay all we're gonna do to it is put some rub on it which is my ancho chili, garlic, pepper, and salt, and then get it in the smoker. And we are not wrapping it at all today. I've been wanting to try this for a while. I'm a little nervous because you always see wrap, 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 and but I'm gonna do the whole thing totally exposed from start to finish and uh, wish me luck. go done and uh, let's go to the smoker okay peeps we're outside now and uh, let's get this bad boy in here so what I'm gonna do fat side up and we are going to have the point end on the hotter side and the flat end towards the colder side of the smoker. And you can watch my test video to show you all about that. But that way, in my logic, it's gonna cook more evenly and being in there all day unwrapped, it should help. So, eh, wish me luck. And uh, see in about four hours, and when we're gonna take the first uh, look at it. Well, everybody, we just hit the four hour mark, and uh, let's take a peek. <laughs> Ooh, damn, ah, oh, smoke. That looks good. I'm not gonna touch it, and uh, keep going. So it's looking great. I'm gonna leave it another two hours and then come back and take the temperature just to give us uh, an idea of where we're sitting and gauge it then. Okay, it's been six hours. I uh, got my thermometer and uh, let's take a look. <laughs> Looks great. Mm. That looks really good. Let's uh, see where we're sitting, just so that we have an idea. No, nope, I can tell it needs a ways to go. No, nope, let's find the coldest spot. We're at 167 Fahrenheit, which is 75 degrees Celsius. We're not there yet. We, we have quite a few hours to go. Perfect. Back she goes. Okay, some good news, people. I went and checked, and uh, it's off. It's in here now. I'm going to let it rest for an hour. It's not wrapped. It's not anything. I just took it off, put it in the cooler, and uh, now this is probably the hardest part, letting it sit there for an hour to cool down, chill out, and then uh, slice it. I'm so excited. Uh, a little nervous too because I really want this one to work. To show you totally bare bones what's going to happen when you smoke a brisket. Oh, there we go. There we go. Look at that beautiful thing. Little, little crunchier. Little, little crunchier than normal. But that's to be expected because it's been unwrapped the whole time uh, doesn't even look too dark I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with that now we got to cut into it trusty knife and uh, let's do this you know ooh, look look I'm gonna show you on that camera 
Uh, come on, there we go. That's uh pretty juicy actually. I'm I'm kind of shocked. That's a good thing. The outside, the bark is a little crunchier. So just to let you know, full, the cooking time was uh, nine hours. Got it up to 204. Let's do that. Oh, let's. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. You know what, that's surprisingly good. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little nervous on this one. That's good. Um, got nice smoke ring. It's actually quite juicy, better than I thought. That bark, yes, it's uh, a little harder. Realistically, except for the bark being a little harder on the edges, uh, not even all over. The side, yes, that's, uh, that's harder for sure. But even the bottom, it's not that bad. Top, fat's nicely rendered. Good smoke ring. Uh, it turned out good. I can't complain about that, people. Nice, nice, look at that, just falls apart. I'm good, we're good. See, totally acceptable, yeah, I would totally serve that to people. Um, so for me, excuse me, this experiment, total success, not 100%, not like normal, but I'm not ashamed of this. Like I could actually serve this uh, and not be ashamed. Awesome. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Enough of me talking, I am done. This video was done and uh, I'm gonna go eat now. So thanks for watching again and happy eating.